Ooh, yeah, holy cow, look at this. This thing is on fire. Wow, that thing is gorgeous. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Guess what? I'm going home today. Whatever state I'm in, it's beautiful, the sun's coming up, it's pretty hot, it's pretty muggy, and it's time to hit the road. It's time for an update on what's hatching today. And a couple of these, I gave you a sneak peek the other day, but now they're all hatched. First being these Granite Max Max. Very cool. This one's much more granity. The other ones have much more red on them. These guys are so pretty and they do so well. They're amazing animals and they make great pets too. They stay a nice manageable size. They're really docile and obviously beautiful. The other cool thing with this morph too is if you can see, they tend to have that striping in them, which is really neat too. Some can be all the way striped, some just have a little bit. Next box, uh, we're gonna check on those theri that I told you. Ooh, yeah, holy cow, look at this. Oh my goodness. This thing is on fire. Look at how orange that is. Wow, that thing is gorgeous. I've, if you remember yesterday, the other two were more of a yellow. This is the one that was out yesterday with the yellow. And then look at this one. It is basically the same. It's the same except it's orange. Oh my God, this is a beautiful clutch with almost every variation that you could get, which is really nice. But basically you can see why they call these variable kings because all these animals came out of the same clutch and the same two parents. The fun thing with those is you really never know what's gonna pop out, except that if you have orange in the bloodline, then you get some of these orange ones. But wow, these things are super pretty and I guarantee Brian's gonna wanna keep most, if not all of them. This looks like this was a Galus Texas rat bred to a het scalus. Basically, we have two things here. We have some that are expressing the scalus, and then we have normals, and those would all be 100% het for scalus. So if you breed two hets together, you'll produce some, or if you breed a scalus to a het, you'll get scalus. But these are pretty nice, and it looks like, yep, looks like all the ones out of this, there's two clutches sharing a box, obviously. So one of the clutches hatched, I'll pull those out, and then we'll leave these other ones to hatch on their own. First stop to gas up here somewhere in Tennessee and I just had to take a look at this cage that I'm bringing back. Of course, this is the prototype I've been showing you guys. Oh, by the way, check out this water bowl. I mean, is this freaking cool or what goes right in here? And again, this is for a ball pipe that we will be selling these water bowls separate. As a matter of fact, we'll have small, medium and large and even extra large water bowls for you people that have huge monitors or big pythons. The other thing people ask me about the doors, they're actually gonna have glass doors like this. I'll show you when I get home and install them all. And hopefully within a week or so, I'll have this kind of dialed in and and then within a month, hopefully we'll be offering this as well as bearded dragons, leopard geckos. We have some work to do. Anyways, stopping for gas. Have to show you guys the cage a little bit. Back on the road. Time for a leopard gecko update. Oh my God. So we have close to 2,000 babies already. Oh, Whoa. Oh 2,000? Yeah. It's like 1,800 and something. Oh okay. my God. Good job, mom. Look I at what you did. Officially struck. Me? <laughs> 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 okay, now I'm definitely gonna need a drink today. <laughs> we need to like get them up on the site. Yes. Okay, everybody, actually, today is the first day that the 2018s are gonna start to be on the site. So when you see this, go to the website, click on 2018, and buy, buy, buy. Buying no. them up, yeah. <laughs> but let's see some cool stuff, though. All right. So these guys Holy all just cow. Up together. Yeah, those are super bright. These guys yeah. are from a new tangerine line. That's awesome because I know everybody, I mean, everybody wow. loves the orange and it's mm -hmm. nice to that actually, yeah, to be producing some of those really bright ones. That's really awesome. This is a snow eclipse from a pastel line. This is a Max Snow Bell Albino white and yellow. Oh, yeah, I wow. noticed you were doing more of those. That, that is, is crazy. really neat. So much white on it, yeah, too. Yeah, that is cool. This Ooh. one's another total eclipse. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yes. I love I knew these you'd guys. like it. You yes. love the super snows. I do, and it's so neat how they've got that like patternless on the the sides too. And the stripe. Yeah, and the stripe. Very this cool. is our last one today. Ooh, what is that? 
This one actually is a Sun Glow Mac Snow Tremper to a Mac Tremper. The thing is with these little geckos is they change so much so fast too. So I'll be curious to see. Maybe that's one we can get an update on like in a few weeks and see how it looks because uh, I'm really curious. Oh my God, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still freaking out. 2,000 geckos. <laughs> okay. Sorry to scare you. <laughs> so uh, yeah, well, uh, I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> I better get at that. Okay, gassing up again. I think I'm in Kentucky now. I really don't. I don't really pay attention, but uh, I think I'm in Kentucky. But with that said, I certainly still have a long way to go. I think I've got seven and a half hours, something like that. But man, they really are hatching some amazing geckos this year. Jessica is always incredible when it comes to gecko stuff. I can't wait to get back and see it. I think, did they say 2,000 geckos are on the show? Oh my God, that's a lot of geckos. Lori is right. She's got a lot of work going ahead and taking pictures of all I'm getting on the website. So if you guys are into leopard geckos, you guys are going to have a lot to choose from. We aren't just hatching leopard geckos. Every day exciting things keep happening and we had more geckos hatched today. Not leopard geckos this time, we've got cave geckos. <laughs> oh my oh god, god they're tiny they so are. tiny. <laughs> That's so crazy. They are so neat. I love how different they look than the leopard geckos. They're so dark and so just crazy looking holy cow yeah that is so much bigger and, and look it's at how orange. orange it is yeah the color starts coming in really nice yeah like next to each other you kind of <laughs> see the size difference wow that is so crazy i love that too so is that something i'm not familiar with these guys that they always have that orange color some of them do have more of a yellow band okay uh, yep it's sibling actually, I didn't bring it over here, but it has a little bit less orange, it's more yellow. I wanted to take a look at these guys too since we haven't updated them in a while. Brian had got these like a long time ago. Ooh, a different so kind. different kinds, yeah. Wow, that's very different. It, it's almost more leopard gecko-esque yeah. than the other one, but definitely still different. It's got the same... A lot that, more orange on yeah, it. Yeah, and the body shape is the same little bit different and they seem to have like kind of longer arms mm -hmm. but uh so that's our female yeah. this is our male Ooh. these guys will be big enough to breed next year so we'll be producing some of these wow these things are so cool nice. so crazy and cool how different geckos are you know they're similar but yet so different and so neat so uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad that we're working with some different ones. Yeah, it's it, nice to have some variety. Exactly. To see, like, sometimes, you know, back in the day, there wasn't a whole lot available. You know, leopard geckos and then I think fat tails and, and that was it. And it's so neat to have all these new different kinds. So uh, that'll be exciting to produce some of those. I but, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so another exciting thing happening here. More cave gecko babies. And I'm in Ohio. All right, so I made it into Michigan. I'm about an hour away from home. I tell you what, it's kind of surreal to think that I'm finally going to be home, get a chance to see my family, my dogs, my animals, and all that stuff. And as you guys know, Lori had a lot of really cool stuff, born and hats, so I cannot wait to see all those animals, not to mention cookies and cream. By the way, I didn't update you guys. Cookies and cream did not eat that last time we tried, but we're going to go ahead and offer again tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. In the meantime, welcome to Michigan and Construct and a little bit of a traffic jam. Again, I should be about an hour away from home, but there's a good chance it may take me an hour and a half or two hours. But nevertheless, I am just super excited to finally almost be home. But what a week we had, right? I mean, we built so many amazing habitats for the Reptarium. We were able to come up with the prototype. I cannot wait to share that with Lori and the crew and see what they have to think about it. It was definitely a banger of a week. I am so happy I came down here. And we have so many amazing projects that are coming to fruition. This has been so, so so exciting and thank you guys for allowing me to kind of bring you along on the journey let me know in the comments what you're thinking I mean what do you think about the reptarium what do you think about reptile prime what do you think about all the things I'm doing I really want you guys to be excited about it like I am because it is a dream come true oh and by the way Stuart is actually coming up with a few people to install the reptarium exhibits the 20th of August through the 24th so if you happen to be in the area which is Utica Michigan for the 20th through the 24th and you want to give a hand maybe 
maybe build some things, move some things around, be a part of the install, I would love to hear from you. So go ahead and reach out to me if you guys want to come and help us out. We want probably eight or 10 people that can really help out so that things go really well. So let me know if you guys like that. In the meantime, again, hour, hour and a half home and I get to see my family. And guess what guys, I am absolutely home. The dogs, I think we're very excited. Laura, you didn't seem nearly as excited as Phoebe to see oh. me. <laughs> I tell you what guys, I am absolutely buckled. Drove 1200 miles, haven't slept in days it feels like, so I am definitely going to shut it down and end the vlog here. It is so nice to be home. Tomorrow morning we'll head over to the shop, we'll look at all the new babies that Lori was able to see without me that I was so jealous about. We'll check on cookies and cream, give you guys an update how they're doing, just see what's going on back here. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey and this adventure. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Remember, just a few weeks away before the Reptarium starts to get installed. It's going to be so exciting. I can't wait till Lori actually sees them in person because it's really different when you see them in person. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Again, thank you so much for everything. Have an amazing day. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button, turn the post notifications on, make a comment, let me know something awesome about you guys. Be kind to someone today and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Get to making with When it hits you, yeah. Yes, 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 you shall. When it hits you, yes.